These two tips will make your video editing more efficient and faster. And I've got two keyboard shortcuts that I use, which I'll show you at the end of this video, which will make your video editing even faster. Keep watching. Lights, camera, action! Let's have some fun. One of my subscribers and fellow channel supporter, Nicholas Andro, cheers Nick, contacted me recently regarding two features within Filmora that can really speed up your editing. The first one is called Ripple Delete, and the second one is a new feature in Filmora 13 called Select All Forward or Select All Backward. And using these two tools and with the keyboard shortcuts I'll show you at the end of the video, it can really speed up your editing time and make you more efficient. So instead of me prattling on about it, why don't I shut up and let's get on with it. We all know how to delete something from our timeline. We simply click on it and either press delete on the keyboard. We can right click and press delete from the pop-up menu or we can go up to edit and delete it from there. But do you know how to ripple delete? If you don't, I highly recommend you watch the rest of this tutorial. It's going to save you a lot of time in your video editing. Right, let's get to a point in the video. Say we want to delete these three parts of the video clip. First of all, I'm just going to split the audio there. So we've now got three parts the same size. Normally, to delete them, you'd highlight them, press delete on your keyboard, that leaves a space. You can then click on one of them and delete the space, but you can see only that part of the timeline moves and all the other stuff is left where it was. You can't highlight multiple spaces, unfortunately, and delete them, but this is where Ripple Delete comes in. Let me just go back. With Ripple Delete, we highlight what we want to delete, and if we right click and press Ripple Delete, or we can go up to Edit and press Ripple Delete, what happens, it removes that footage, deletes the gap, and moves everything that was to the right of it up to exactly where it should be on the timeline. Let's look at that in more detail. There's the three clips we want to delete. When we ripple delete, it deletes the spaces and moves everything to the right and closes the gap and puts it in exactly the right place. Now something else that I forgot to show you with just normal deleting, let me just go back, is if we delete, press delete and we've got that gap there, we would then have to highlight everything to the right. Now imagine if this is a big long project, that could be a bit fiddly. And then we've got to drag it and try and get it exactly where it should go on the timeline. So ripple delete can really help there. Let me just show you ripple delete again. Highlight it all. This time I'm going to right click, click on ripple delete. And there you go, it's moved everything to the right of that deletion and put it exactly where it should be on the timeline. So ripple delete's a great feature. In the latest update of Film Model 13, there's a new tool called Select All Forward and Select All Backwards. You can find it over here. If you click on the arrow and you'll see it there, Select All Forward, Select All Backward. Let me show you how that works. So say for example, we're in our timeline here and we want to select all the clips behind where the timeline playhead is. Normally what we'd have to do is highlight them all by going across all of them like that. As you can imagine, if you've got a big, long project, <laughs> that could be a bit hard to do. So what Select All Forwards and Select All Backwards does is it makes that easier. So if you click on there and click on Select All Backward, you'll see a new little thing comes up. That's where you can select what clips you want to be selected to either go backwards or forwards. And you can tell this one is going backwards by the two little arrows there. Now, say for example, we clicked here and then come out of it, go back to select, you'll see that all of the clips to the right of where I chose are selected, but the audio has been selected right from the start because that's got no breaks in it whatsoever. So what I'm going to do is make a cut in the audio where the break in those clips are. So click there and I'll cut. The playhead can be anywhere you want, it doesn't matter. So let me just leave it well out the way. Let's go to select all backwards. And as you drag it across, you can see on the media screen where about you are in the footage. So let's go from this point again and press your left mouse button. You can see that all the clips are selected and 
now that I've broken down the audio you can see that just the audio part to the right of that has also been selected what you can do now is go back to select and now you can move all of these simply by clicking and dragging and it moves all of the clips together so you could insert another clip here if you wanted to really handy for that let me go back it's exactly the same process with select all forward so click on the little arrow select all forward and you can see the new icons come up with the two little arrows pointing to the left meaning select all the clips forward so click on that don't forget to come out and press your select button and now all these can be moved or changed or anything you want even deleted let me press delete there we go I'll just undo that so this can be really really helpful if you've got a large project and there's lots of little clips in there this is also going to be a great time saver let me show you those keyboard shortcuts I promised you at the beginning of the video the first one is if you press the dollar key on your keyboard it transfers all your money into my bank account <laughs> Only joking, doesn't really, that's just a joke. To assign keyboard shortcuts, we need to go to File, down to Keyboard Shortcuts. And the two I use are Ripple Delete and Split. So let's go to Edit, because it's an editing tool. And as we scroll down a bit, you'll see Ripple Delete there, and I've assigned it to the letter D. You can assign it to any letter you want. Say, for example, you assign it to letter E, and that's already assigned. It'll tell you, and do you wish to confirm to replace it? I don't, I'm going to keep mine as the letter D. And further down, on the next section, under Tools, you'll see Split. And I've assigned that to the letter S. Once you're happy with the keys that you want to use, just click on OK. Let me show you how to use them and how quick it's going to speed up your video editing. So we've got three clips there. I want to split them. Yes, you can just click there. But what I'm going to do instead is press the letter S on my keyboard. It's split. Move the playhead long again, S split again. I then highlight the clips that I want to ripple delete and press D on my keyboard. And there you go. How quick was that? So you can scroll through your footage quite quickly, just selecting, ripple deleting, and it makes it a hell of a lot quicker. So you can see how quick I'm going through all this footage here by pressing S, pressing S again, pressing D that's how quick you can make your editing if you've got any tips for being a more efficient video editor please let me know in the comments below and please don't forget to like subscribe and click on the notification bell I really do appreciate it as always thanks for watching now go have some fun